we've got the moment of inertia. How would you phrase how that bit is ro rotating about? It's the moment of inertia of a disk about where? About an axis. Perpendicular to the plane, so it's about an axis, perpendicular to the lamina if you want, perpendicular to the moment of inertia of an axis, perpendicular to the disk, what else? To its center. To its center. The reason I say that is because one of the questions you will be getting is when you're going to start off, you might want to find the moment of inertia of a of an axis like that. Now if that's your disk and if that's the axis, what way does it look like that would rotate? Oh, 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 but yeah, basically just flip over. So let me just get an axis, and then we get a disc. So one of the issues we would have is to work out how to flip that about an axis there. So if that's my axis, it would flip up like that. Fair enough? Mm -hmm. If I give you a hint and say you're going to have to work what that is, if we could work out what that axis there is, let's call it IC. Can you use the perpendicular axis there? I do. Yeah, let's say I call this. Well, shouldn't you need to get? If I know this, if I know I see, how will I get I L? M D squared. Oh, just M D squared. I L equals what? I see plus M D squared. I see plus M D squared. So we're going to take a quick look at how do we work out I C here. We know what the moment of inertia is going through there. If I know that, can I work out what it is going across that way? First of all, how would we phrase this? You said that if it's like that, you told me that's the moment of inertia of a disk about an axis perpendicular to the disk going to the center point. We need to fill with them. Remember what I said here? The English here is as tricky as, as any of the maths, just trying to figure it out. How would we express this that axis there? Uh, oh. but apart from mathematically, how do you just say in English what's going on? It's the moment of inertia of a disk. It's a moment of inertia. Moment of inertia of a disk about an axis in the plane of the lamina. Okay, in the plane is the best bit. In the plane of the lamina. Through its center point. Okay. Our nicer way of putting it, like that would start to be accurate. A nicer way of saying it, it's a moment of inertia of a circular disk about a diameter. That makes sense. Yeah. Like a diameter, just saying it's going through the center point because the diameter has to. Okay. So about diameter on the surface of the plane. And here's the question now, you were, some of you were guessing, guessing this. How will I guess what I see is? It'll be 2i to the other one. 2 to the center. I see is half of the center one. What is it to the center? It's twice. I see perpendicular. I see what we would say normally. Perpendicular is what? Half m r squared. We've just derived it. A half m r squared. Using that information, can we work out what this guy is, we'd say, about the diameter? Yeah, yeah. Why is it a quarter? A quarter, like I said, it's a quarter, I'm not sorry. Why? Because one middle of the base. Because it's two, two diameter ones. Yeah, because this guy here, going through the center point, has got to be that <coughs> plus that. Right? So if that's a half, then basically you're saying a half must be equal to something this way plus something that way. And the something this way and the something that way are equal. So you're saying, well, basically, it therefore, is a half of what it is there. In other words, I see perpendicular is a half mr squared. I see about a diameter is what do you say it's going to be? Now, for what it's worth, that can be given in the log table. Let's put it here so you can see where it's going. And now, I see I L up here is always going to be therefore because it's always going to be once again. How will I express this in English? You will be told in English, you will have to say, what the hell does that mean? This is the moment of inertia of a disk about an axis. Tangent. What's the word? Tangent. Tangential to the disk. Okay? You could say touching it, but again, the best phrase you got is tangential to the disk. So it doesn't matter if it's that way, or that way, or that way. Each of those are axes tangential to the disk. So you won't have to remember what this is, but it will always be what? What's I see? It's going to be a half or a quarter. It's got to be a quarter. It's the axis that's parallel to that axis there. So it's always going to be a quarter m r squared plus m r squared plus m d squared and m m and d is as you said r. 
So all of that is going to be compiled. One five or four. So if it comes up, you can either work through it, or you can use the log tables to get this bit here and just add on here in R squared. That's a general formula for the boy R squared. It's a general formula for a moment of inertia about a tangent. About a tangent. Yeah, about an axis which is tangent. Okay, we we'll come across that later on. I just said since we were deriving the formula, we'll stick it up there. Okay, we're going to move on. To